<laughs> cool. Uh, Dragon this fantasy age. game has blood in it. Dragon Age. I'm so happy. This first game's marketing is, or like branding, is all obsessed with the fact that they have, this is a fantasy game with blood. Yeah. Greetings, crew members! Welcome to the very first episode of Tamara Plays Dragon Age Origins. I'm Tamara. And I'm Chris. And I'm so excited. I can feel it radiating off of her now like a space heater. I'm just so happy. The nostalgia and joy. Uh, okay, so just quick backstory. This is the first game that I ever played from start to finish with no help by myself and completed. So this game has like a really special place in my heart. And on your back. And on my back because I do have a tattoo of uh, the an gray old warden. gray warden symbol because as much as I like the fact that Hawk is voiced and has personality and the Inquisitor is voiced and can sometimes have personality, um, the, the Grey Warden is, you know, I love her. <laughs> her, yeah. I guess we're playing a female character because we know who you want to romance. Uh, but enough about that. Up. We're getting ahead of myself. Uh, I'm getting ahead of myself, rather. Uh, so first we need to create no, a wait. new game. Tell them about how your experience with the game. Uh, I've played this first one when it came out, I think all the way through in the most tangential sense of like I followed the main quest and didn't really do any side quests. And then uh, I promptly forgot about it. I tried playing two a little bit, but I got real bored. Did like, you romance a little bit someone? In. I don't think so. I don't think oh romance God, was like a thing that I like really was. Because uh, this came out, okay. we were talking about this a little earlier. This is a pre Mass Effect game. Yes. So this is before Mass Effect kind of like changed sure. the entire right? format up. 2009? Yeah, this is 2009. No, Mass Effect came out in 2007. Oh, well, this is 2009. So I guess they were foreshadowing in the first Mass Effect when they talked about the maker. Oh, then what's this game's excuse? This game still plays a little like old school. I guess they weren't like confident in the Mass Effect formula yet. Yeah. And they still wanted to have something that kept their foot in the... I this mean, place yeah, closer by the to... time this came out, they were probably already... Yeah, this plays like, closer to like their done. their Knights of the Old Republic Jade Empire style of gaming that they had been doing for quite a while. <sighs> Okay. All right. And That's she's enough. playing it on PC with a yes. keyboard and mouse for the very first time, too. This is the first time I'm playing it on PC. I, I did play a little bit, like, I played through a different character. I played through uh, the Dalish Elf Origin, basically. Just to get used um, to the controls. To get used bet. to the controls. But then it turns out the controls are basically just World of Warcraft, which I have played a whole bunch. So, um, I'm kind of fine. Done. I. I which was nice, mm -hmm. actually. It was really nice just picking it up and being like, oh, this feels like WoW. Mm -hmm. Which I don't play anymore. But I did. Um. <laughs> Alright, well, let's start a new game. Yay! Uh, now we're going to start with the primary game, Origins. There yes. is Awakening, and then there is also a bunch of other DLC content that's been added, because this is the the kind of complete version that I got off uh, GOG. Yes. Um... I'm excited, and I'm excited to get to play Awakening again, because I've only Ooh, ever played read Awakening it, once. And so is the golden city blackened with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. Cant canticle of Theranodes? 813. <clears throat> I love a good canticle. <laughs> the Chantry teaches us. But it is the uh, of men which brought the darkspawn into our yeah, world. Yeah, darkspawn. They're just orcs. The mages yeah. that sought to usurp <laughs> heaven. Well, they're poisonous orcs. Yeah. Instead, like zombie they orcs. They're orcs it. that can make you orcs. They were oh, by the way, spoilers out. all over. Twisted this is my like most beloved franchise. I I'm not. Holding yeah, we're not back. holding back on spoilers. I nah. tried to keep spoilers from Tamara in the last game, monsters. but. Yeah, but this is my, um... Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This looks so good. Yeah, this I like does all not this... look as good on the PS3. 
Yeah. They should do a remaster. They became a well, they did the the Mass Effect ones very popular right now. We got a copy. We've of We've got it. Yes. We're playing it. I cried a whole bunch. I cried a lot. And it's not even my most beloved the franchise. Kingdoms were the first to it's fall. just a franchise I really like. And from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again. Until Top game still Bioshock Infinite. Annihilation. Which, yeah, check out uh, our past playthrough of Tamara Plays Bioshock Infinite. We had a lot of fun doing that one. You can find it on our channel. Uh, and don't forget to uh, like and subscribe if you, you know, if you feel inclined. We appreciate it. Oh, hey, look at these guys! Thanks for talking while I'm just absorbed in the. Well, I gotta do. I gotta start. I gotta start doing the the earlier plugs. I found are helpful for people because like people will watch the whole video and like it and then just be like, oh, it's over now and click away. Because oh, they're the Which you're entitled to do. I don't you like. Are. I'm not here to beg you for fucking likes. Yeah, no. If you don't like it, then you don't have to subscribe. That's Speaking of what I was saying earlier, I don't know if I guess I was saying this off camera, but the um. The blood is a big thing in this franchise. Yes. They're like, that's like where the dark and their dark fantasy, quote unquote, comes from. Is like, yeah, with when our game, when people get stabbed, you see a shit ton of blood. And when our hero stabs people, they get covered in blood. Yeah, and it's like, guys, I don't know if you know this, but like, yeah. I mean, you Lord, do of know it Lord of the Rings could do that. Lord of the Rings was PG 13. Ripped off all over the place here. Victory. But also, at the and same time, they try so hard yeah. to subvert stuff. This is also, weirdly, their first bite at the traditional fantasy thing, I think, since... Have forgotten. I, I don't know if they did anything pre-KOTOR that was, like, maybe, uh... We are few now. You know, some old franchise. When he but, see, it says they, he means Bioware. Bioware, yes. Yeah. Uh-oh. Duncan's gonna get ambushed. But Bioware was always traditionally yeah. Jokes on you! People. So it's Kiff. interesting to see their their fantasy yeah. franchise. Yeah. Also, like fantasy was my first love. I'm a big sci-fi girl now, but fantasy really was my first. My own eyes. He's got the two swords. I wonder. I consider them two sides of the same coin. I wonder one if this, has uh, magic, the other has stuff that might as well be magic. Yeah. Space magic. Space magic. Magic and space magic. Hmm. They're two sides of the same coin. You basically have the same story structures in most of your sci-fi stuff that you do in fantasy stuff. Oh, character creation. <laughs> yeah! Now, we promised not to spend five hours on this. Okay, well, I told Chris that he was going to do it for me, but I already know uh, the, the base stuff I want to be because I know the ending I want. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this right now, okay? My very first playthrough, I played a Dalish Elf. I got all the way to the lands meet where Alistair fucking dumped me, and then I googled what I had to do <laughs> to get him to come back to me, and the answer was, choose a human noble. So I went back and restarted the video game what and a, replayed what a, what a great message to point. gamers about, eh, it doesn't matter what you are, it matters what you're born as. <laughs> yeah, well, it's the only way that he can become king and also be with you, so... Mm -hmm. And guess what? I want to be motherfucking Queen of Ferelden. So, <laughs> what class this is are you going happening. with? Not mage, right? Not mage. Ma whatever, whenever you pick mage, you get stuck with this opening, which is um, is a which nightmare. Is, you're of... at the mage's tower, and the mage's tower kind of sucks. And you have to go through the um, fade, which is just a nightmare for yes. the first opening. I'm thinking rogue. What do you think? That still makes you a noble? Yeah. Yes, human noble. Humans can only be nobles. Unless wow. they're mages. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's not a... I, I can't be... Yeah, no. This is what they talk about just... with like their 13 openings. Yes. But the thing about the 13 openings is you can play the 13 openings and then like just play the game once. Because it's basically the same experience. Well, it is funny because they showed that like diagram where it's like all the different lines at the start and then they just go boom right down yes. to one timeline <laughs> which is when you join the gray wardens <clears throat> yes but like i think it's pretty good they tried something i like a lot of the openings i don't like a lot of the openings but like i like the dalish i, I like um here i'll click on them just so that we can see them um i like the dalish uh because the dalish background is is pretty fun um, I also like the city elf background, though, because it shows, like, the two different 
Oh yeah, ways. living in the slums. Yeah, in the living ghettos. in the slums in the ghettos under human thumb, and then living out in the forest where you're like, okay, humans are still a problem, but we just kind of fuck off and they don't follow us. Yeah. Um, then if you're a dwarf, uh, you can be either a dwarf commoner, uh, where your background is basically, um, I'm a dwarf commoner. I'm involved in uh, a whole bunch of fucking. Um, crime because I am a castless uh, because I think I think your dad didn't either your dad was castless or your dad didn't acknowledge you which makes you castless and it basically means you can't get any good jobs and you have to do crime because dwarven society is a nightmare place um and unless you become a famous romance novelist yes unless you become a famous what? he doesn't just do romances shut up um but you also, uh, as a dwarf, it's like, it's it's all fucked up. And they're like, oh, yeah, well, you take the one of your dad because it's, like, super patriarchal. But they also have something very cool where their gods are their ancestors. So you can be a living god if you do something amazing in your lifetime. And then they can be like, okay, you are a paragon, which means you're the best of the best of the dwarves. I'm talking too much. Yeah, this, this, is, this, is, screen. this is every single opening that you've played and know the detail of. We were just talking about how there's 13 openings, and you're like, yes, here are the details on all of them. I love them all. <laughs> they all have their good ones. They all have their bad ones, mostly the mage tower. Okay, but like the dwarven <laughs> one, this this dwarf commoner one isn't so hot. Yeah, you're talking a lot about, about the dwarf and open for and us being the dwarven noble. noble one is like really interesting as as an opening because you're dwarven uh you're, you're basically going to be the next mm -hmm. one in charge um and then your fucking brother basically fucks you over and gets you framed for i think the murder of your other brother um, i think that's the one i started on when i played i think i played yeah. a dwarf noble because and that's the one i remember opening and so basically duncan grabs you and is like yeah you're coming with me because fucking otherwise your brother's gonna murder you yes yes that's the opening that i remember yes playing. so yeah, that's the that's the dwarven noble one and that mm -hmm. one's i like that one a lot um as the story i don't really like the actual playing of it all that much but uh, i like yeah. the story um and then humans you can just be a noble um as long as you're not a mage uh so you just have this the one yep. that we're gonna do so i'm not gonna talk about it but if you're a mage you have to do the mage's tower where your buddy is stupid and, and doing also blood doing magic. blood magic i think i also and, did that one at some point and then he's like will you cover for me but i don't think magic? i ever got past that opening because of the maze-like structure of the fade yeah, which is where fade. you have and then you do it later in the game again and it's because worse. i did it as a second character and when i did it as a second character i was like oh i have to do this now because you do it in that tower yes which by the way that tower is such a tangent like uh, when oh we yeah get the to tower it, is rough but it's okay <clears throat> and do you know why mm. because we have the internet and i'm straight up just gonna look it up Yes. Because it's been a while, and every time I get to that part, it's, it tests me. It's a literal it maze. It tests me it's, so much. It's like the fucking so, blood maze from Max Payne. Yeah, there's a reason Only you're why a mouse. when people... There was a, a really funny Tumblr meme back when I was on Tumblr where they were like, uh, that one part in the video game that you love that makes you question playing it. And then it was just full of the Dragon Age fandom being like, oh my god, the Deep Roads. Mm. Oh my god, the Fade. And it's like, okay, oh. this post just got hijacked by the Dragon Age fandom. And it was like, yeah, because there's a lot in we this We better first move game. on because we spent 13 minutes just talking about it's the opening not, character creation. It's not that screen. bad. You, you're, you're being all judgmental, okay? Yeah. Like, well, <laughs> this isn't this gonna game. happen when I start t playing Halo and you start telling me all about Halo. Oh, yeah, Halo. all about Halo, yeah. Like, uh, okay. So I'm gonna be a rogue. Um, I'm gonna be a human noble because that's all I can be as a yeah. human. Um, which, like, wow, you couldn't just give me one human peasant one, but whatever. Greetings. Bloop. Okay. So. Let's just pick a preset face. What do you want to start from, Chris? Hmm. Because Chris is making this. Go back. Uh, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. That one. This one? Yeah, that one seems like the most uh, natural looking face. 
so far. And then I, I would just say without like risk of screwing with all of the, like, uh, let's make the forehead bigger or the nose a little weirder. Or well, whatever. that's it's not as, um, it's not as in depth as other character creators. Yeah, it's not whatever. So. Like like uh, what's that? A cyberpunk or whatever. Which isn't even that in depth compared to what do you other think? ones. Which one? Um, I think little little go back to from that that one. This one, the yeah, original that's good. one. Yep. Okay, we'll see how much it shows up. Hair. This will be important. I can't even really well, see the hair. The hair color. is so dark. This is blush color. Oh yeah. Do you want to do hair and stuff first? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Right. Ah, the nebula look. Let's change the colors to, to something you can see. Uh, so nebula look. Uh, nebula who hasn't shaved in a couple days. And it's I like can a turn ponytail, her. right? Look, I can yeah. turn her. Oh, that's like a shortcut in the back. That's nice. It's kind of cute. That's a good style. A little bit. Uh, oh, braided out. That's kind of Norse. Also kind of cute. The triple ponytail. Yeah, I don't like this one. No. That's weird. That's a weird choice, the triple ponytail. Leia ah, buns, but on the back. The back Leia buns. Yeah. Back Leia buns. Oops. Change the color. Sorry. Mm. The terrible bob. Yeah. That looks like a fallout haircut. Yeah. The terrible bob with braids just oh, on top for some terrible. reason. That's just terrible. Did anybody who's ever seen human hair design this? Um, the terrible bob but with one actual braid. Yeah, that's <laughs> like that's, that's like the that's like the Padawan braid. Yeah. So, um, the terrible bob. Ooh, bangs! But I, didn't brush I have my bangs hair. now. <laughs> I've gone my whole life without learning what bangs are, and I refuse to now. <laughs> and also, look at look at how much I didn't brush my hair today. Also, yeah, look how much those mm -hmm. bangs are uneven. Like you just took a pair of rusty scissors. And oh, look, I've got five head. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh fuck! You know, maybe they could give some new hairstyles to Dragon Age too. Mm -hmm. Oh great! Oh, oh no. that looks elaborate. How am I supposed to maintain that while I'm? Well, I guess I am a noble, so it makes sense. No, that's sense where you put your to sword, start. Tamara. You put your sword through there. To, uh, that's your. Yeah. That's your, no, that's like you put his little dagger there, just in case to reach up Again, and grab it. Again, can't brush my hair. That's a very Fallout haircut. Hmm. I guess it's they're getting worse and worse as we go on. I think the best one was at the very start, that short one. Yeah. Short ponytail. Yeah. Like a really. That looks short. like you just literally took a knife and cut off a long ponytail because you lost in defeat. Oh, and <laughs> wow. <yeah. laughs> wow. Okay, well, the ponytail's a little better, but, like, <clears throat> it looks basically the same. Oh, my God. Oh, elaborate. my God. Oops. I changed it to hair. Yeah, I think uh, the first actual full Look haircut. Look at that. It's got pearls in it. <laughs> well, you are human noble. I know, but also pearls seems a little over the top. And then this is the last one. Just the professional regular, bun. Just a regular bun with some little PC bits. This isn't terrible. Yeah, fucking video games, get better haircuts for women, please. Like, this is upsetting. I, this is like two good hairstyles. I think that one was... No, go back. That one is probably the best one. I do like this one a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. But, like, also, what is this in the back here? Well, they didn't have good scissors back then, I guess. <sighs> yeah, okay. Well... Let's go with this one, right? Yep. All right, let's pick hair color. White, blonde, brown, redhead. Deeper redhead. Uh, like another brown. No, like a golden sort of color. It's kind of cute. Brown. Darker brown. Black. Mm, I don't want it to be black because it looks like it's missing. Um, well, it looks like it's missing because of the background, not necessarily because that's what the hair. I would say like a like. like a brown or an auburn color, like not the not the bright red, but like the darker red, mm -hmm. like that, not that. Well, that's the like lighter red, I think. That's I like, like that, brown. like that darker red. Sorry, is that red? It's like an orange. It's like an auburn. It looks good. 
It's very shiny, as all Dragon mm -hmm. Age hair is. Um, yeah, okay, I like this. That looks cute. Let's do eyebrow color uh, the same. No, let's not do it the same. <laughs> uh, darker is better. Yeah, a little darker. That one's nice. <clears throat> okay, and then eyebrow look. Mm, oh my no God. eyebrows. That's yeah. a bold choice. Yeah, that's very that's very Mad Max. Basically, that's the only acceptable eyebrow type, right? Like, kind of. Yeah. This one's too thick. That one's weirdly thin at the top. Too plucked. Too plucked. You look and like then, Rachel Vice in the Mummy. And then this one is also too thick. I mean, like, I I support like you know eyebrows that are thicker and bushier don't get me wrong mm. but like these are not even nicely styled thicker eyebrows is it is it is it weird now this is their first time like designing a person and saying out loud what we're doing it just makes it like oh no i don't I know no, not that i'm idealizing anybody no it's just like you should be giving me better options if you're only going to give me six yeah if you're going to give me more than I think, six, well, you can have not, more options. Let's not screw with, like, eye, eye size, depth, and all that. Just go to the color. Color. Well, there's different eye shapes. Do you want to look at the different eye shapes? These are all preset eye yeah. shapes. Uh, so. well, that's very haughty. Uh, I like the bigger eyes because they look nicer. Like, kinder. And I want us to have a kind character. Oh, yeah. We're, we're going to be nice. I'm not that kind of person who comes in here to be mean. Yeah, she I have ain't a no hard renegade. Time. I have a hard time playing a renegade chef. I did manage mm -hmm. it once. I managed to get through Dragon Age or uh, Mass Effect 2 being a total douchebag to everybody. And while some of it was super fun, some of it made me feel very bad inside. Like punching that reporter. I didn't like punching that reporter. <laughs> you know, Paragon Chef gets her on your side. Yeah. Just saying. Um, all right. Eye so, color. Uh, eye color. Let's go all the way to the back. All right. I don't want to give our, our, our person of color blue eyes. So let's skip those. That's green. Uh, kind of like a hazily color. That's pretty. Yeah. That's a pretty color. Okay. So it's one from the middle. Uh, that's the middle one. Mm -hmm. That's also pretty. I like those. What about like those deep black, like Deanna Troy eyes? Oh, the, they have those. They're at the very end here. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Like those. You like those? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, those are nice. She's pretty. All right, nose. They have base nose shapes. And then all these thingies that yeah. we can fiddle with. Um, I figure we'll just choose a nose shape, yes? Sure. Mm, that's good. Uh, there's one more. Oh, okay. Uh, go back to one. Yeah, that one looks pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. I kind of like this one. Yeah? But you're the one who makes them hot, so... Mm. That one might be a little short, but I think it's it's good. I guess you could just make it longer by just taking the... Uh, the It would be the nose... Short how? Tip depth. The nose tip is... Tip no, yeah, the tip is too short. So if you go, I guess, the tip depth up. Very bottom one. Yeah, there. That's much better. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I see it. Mm-hmm. All right. I dig it. Yep. Oh, I'm a right. Kuzlin. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot that I'm a Kuzlin. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, mouth height. Not really worried about the mouth height. I think it's fine. The only uh, thing I would uh, look at is the overbite underbite because that can look weird on a side profile. If it's like even, it should be good. Otherwise, if it's like back too much or forward too much. Are you saying much, it's back too much? Uh, uh, that's way too forward underneath. That's a... Take it down to about where the one up top over it is. So where it started? Yeah, where we started. That's good. <laughs> All right. John Cheeks. I don't really think we need to mess nah, with that, No, I think that's good, yeah. I think she's fine. Neck and ears. Neck yeah. and ears. Nope. I think that's kind of Portrait. fine. Portrait. I love yeah. this. Okay. Oh, this is so like your... This oh, is, you can actually make your portrait 
look different and unique. Oh, neat. That's cool. Yeah, which is not something they did in, like, any of the other games. Or, like, any game I've ever seen since. Mm-hmm. But, like, Usually they just give you your own portrait and they're like, hey, here's your portrait. Eat yep. It. And they continued that later in, in Dragon Age. And, uh... You have expression. Look, nice. I even have a... Ooh. This is something I don't think we had in the PS3 version. Or if it is, it's something I never used. But, like, yeah, you straight up can make her make expressions. <laughs> She's giving the people's eyebrow. Look at this. Give her the people's eyebrow. That was hysterical. Yeah, right there. Yeah. This, she looks like a DreamWorks character. I dig it. Okay, let's uh, let's turn her a little so you can see it better. Yeah, that's it. That's DreamWorks that's face right, right there. Right there? Or, like, I don't want to do Not straight his, on. Not straight on. Straight on's weird. Yeah. yeah like that's there. good. And then, um,. Because that's the look that says, hey, kids, I'm a little bit cooler than your average cartoon protagonist. <laughs> I'm a little bit bad. <laughs> okay, now let's choose a background because you can choose backgrounds, too. So there's this one or that one. I kind of like that one. Uh, I like the purple because it stands nice. out. But I also like that one. I saw that one earlier. I like the... Yeah, I think I have the half purple. All right, but wait. Whoa. These ones are cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's the orange and teal that would be later popularized <laughs> in so many movies. Uh, you know, I like that one where it's like the half purple, half white at the that was way back. There's so many choices. This one? No, way back at the start. That one? Yeah, uh, go back one more. Yeah, no, go for that one. The one you were just on. Yeah, you like this Four one? Four one, one more. That, that one? one. Yeah, I do like that one. Um, now, voice. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, we're going to go through all the voices. But as I was going through all the voices, I realized that the only one that doesn't make you sound like either A, a total airhead, or B, um, some sort of weird sociopath is wise. So we're going to start with the, the experienced one, and you're going to see <laughs> really, what I I'm mean. I'm excited. I'm excited. Greetings. That didn't work. My weapon isn't working. Move aside. Till we meet again. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this one's the laugh especially. Yeah, it's a little it's that's a weird. little Regina. -esque. And then mystical greetings. I cannot cast it. This weapon does nothing. I must get by. It's a villain voice. Yeah. Sultry. Oh, I don't like this one. Oh, I see where you said airhead came from. Farewell. Okay, you ready for psychopath? Greetings. Ugh, my spell. My weapon does nothing. You're in my way. It was the laugh that really got me. Goodbye. <laughs> you sound like a sociopath. <laughs> like, like she's. It's like. You can see her laughing with her mouth, but her eyes yes. are cold. Yes. So here's Wise. I have lost the spell. Yeah, that I sounds like an actual person. I need Is that also because it's Jennifer? Uh, Jennifer Hale. I don't know. Is it? You can no, look it maybe. up. Maybe. Uh, probably not. She doesn't talk at all. Like it's basically just stuff to let you know that mm. it's doing the attack you wanted. What are we gonna name our character? Uh, what are we gonna name our character, Chris? Look at how sassy she Fartarina. is. Fartarina. What? No. Uh. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't want her to have like a nice no. name. Her last nice. name is Coosland. Oh, um. Name her Coos. No. <laughs> I'm not naming her Coos Coosland. It's not happening. <laughs> <You> fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love you so much. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm not naming her. Okay, Coos name Coosland. her something pretty like uh, Rihanna. Rihanna Kuzland? <laughs> That's the first name I could think of. Or uh, um, what about like. Uh, oh, you think Rihanna's pretty? I see. Well, she is. You're not wrong. Why don't you name her like Telgen or something? That's because Telgen is. An actual person? <laughs> no. Telgen is not an actual Well, person. no, I mean, like, I, I guess. 
That's a fictional character I created for our Dungeons and Dragons game. <laughs> it's just and, I forgot uh, that she wasn't real for a hot yeah, second. Yeah, <laughs> she's not. Anyway, um, I don't. What about uh, Tiana from one of your favorite Disney movies? I do like that name. Mm, she doesn't look enough like Tiana, though. Um, what about what was Tiana's other name? What about from Trina? Trina? Oh yeah, Trina. That works. I've always really liked that name, Trina. Oh. Okay, so I picked a rogue. Yeah, so you know the more about statting this character. So you I'm going to do, do this that. and this. I'm actually going to give her some constitution because, like, I want a rogue that can actually take a hit or two. And then one more dexterity. Oh, I'll start with coercion because this is a fucking Bioware game. And Sorry, what are you starting with? Coercion, oh, coercion. requires 10 oh. cunning. The character is influential enough to convince others to change their views. Strength contributes to a more intimidating character, whereas cunning contributes to a more persuasive character. I'm a rogue. So Yes, and this is a Bioware game. You and are this right. is a Bioware game. So I picked Coercion. And there's no point in going through any of the other ones because that's the one I've picked. Um, now, what kind of rogue do I want to be, Chris? Do I want to be a dual weapon rogue? So I run up in a stabby I stab. like dual weapon for your character. That seems like archery is like you said you wanted some decks to take a hit. So I think uh, dual weapon would probably fit to that. That is a wise... Plus, it's always cool when you got, like, the two swords or the two knives, and you're just, like, stebby, 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 stebby. You're like Drax in, in that, and uh... And I'm going to give myself deft hands for opening locks. Nice. I'm sure there will be plenty of locked things that I will want to grab. And then the next thing I'm going to grab is stealth. You know why? Why? Because I'm a stabby, stab rogue, and nice. I want to sneak up and stab him. So, uh... Now, I was playing it on normal, and it was... Not that much of a challenge. I died once. I would play um, on normal because you want to talk about it, right? That's true. I want to talk. Yeah, that and not get playing, stuck in some well, not, situation where we're not leveled enough. And also, I'm just thinking about the Flemeth fight, and you know what? You're right. Normal is probably the way to go. <laughs> just remembered the Flemeth fight. Mm -hmm. Oh, Flemeth. You're a that's, big, scary uh, That's dragon. Captain Janeway. For generations, yes. your Ooh. family, the Kuzlans... Yay, we're finally getting to the, the story. It's not that the long. Loyalty of your people. It's okay. It's like our, any character creation in RPG. I'm excited. When your look country at, was occupied the marching. by the Elysian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzma's oh, was that jury? in service to the crown. Not against the men of Orlais, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I yeah. expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. Is that Tim Curry? It is Tim Curry, Curry yes. Doesn't it? <laughs> Yay! I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will I wonder how much just like just the old days. Jibberty jabberty that man has said without knowing what he's talking about. Then. And we fought all legions, not monsters. Mm. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. How? You remember? Oh, yeah. That was um, our first reference to Orlais. Yes, woman. it is. Pleased to see you again, my dear. Uh, and you, Arl Howe. My son Thomas asked after you. Perhaps I should bring him with me next time. Uh, Thomas is a few years younger than I am. I have no interest in an arranged marriage. I'd like that. Um, to what end? <laughs> oh, what do you think? This guy seems like a prick because he's played by Tim Curry, who is a <laughs> lovely man, but almost exclusively <laughs> plays pricks. So... Uh, I'll be like kind of like mm, he's kind of a few years younger than I am. Yeah. As you get older, those years make less difference. A lesson often hard won. I doubt mm -hmm. she'll be receptive from your now. child brides. This girl has her own mind these days. Make her bless her heart. Quite talented, I'm sure. 
Oh, this is I'm also really funny watch. because I'm pretty sure neither of my parents are going to look like me because this is well, before they could do that. The oh yeah, right. Yes, yeah. You're, you're going to pick uh, white people. Yeah, your so parents. So I'm pretty sure this I'm going to look like, completely different from both my mother not, and my father. This is not like the Ryder family. In, no, where you pick Andromeda. You, you make your fucking family members, and then like they yeah. make your dad after that. Your dad's always voiced by Clancy Brown, though. They did that in Fallout Three too, where like you could be a person of color. And then your dad would be a person of color, but your dad would also still be voiced by Liam Neeson. Oh, I'm being left. Uh, I'm being left behind to take care of the castle while my dad and brother go fight. Um, I'm certain you'd more than prove yourself. What'd you say to him? I said, uh, sorry. I said, uh, why aren't I allowed to go? Basically. Oh yeah. <laughs> what about me? I want to go fight. Oh, it's because of my mom. Um, uh, let me talk to her. I'll convince her. If you don't send me, I'll kill you. That's not fair. I want to fight very well. I'll do what you think is best. I'm going to be nice to dad because dad seems like he's got a lot on his plate. Yeah. And also, I should be here to take care of the castle in case something goes wrong. I'm a good fighter. So uh, very no, well. I'll do what, what you like think is best. Hear. Only a token force is remaining here and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away. Yes. Oh, you call him the peasants mice? That's nice. Please, While well, he's wearing a gold-plated shirt. <laughs> it's just a shiny gold shirt. I don't think it's gold-plated. It looks very metallic, but that's probably the graphics of the time. Your lordship. Ah, you Grey Warden! Grey Warden would be present. The fucking Duncan! Yeah. You didn't remember, <laughs> mention that a member of the Night's Watch would be present. <laughs> of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. Mm. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, and that's true. But Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. Uh, they're an order of great warriors. They defend the dark, defeated the Darkspawn long ago. He said they were a small order and no longer important. Is there a reason I should care? It's funny how there's like that. Just by giving uh, you those options, they suddenly give you the character some backstory into the Grey Wardens that let you make that decision to continue. Right? Yes. Uh, yeah. They're like, oh, you know, they did stuff. Um, I'm just gonna say they're an order of great warriors. Uh, I'm gonna play this character as. Fucking thrilled to join the Grey Wardens. Um, nice. Because the way, like, like I'll put up a little bit of like, oh, well, what about my other For show, stuff? right? Yeah. But like, I'm gonna be pretty stoked about joining, um, because I feel like that's kind of expedient mm -hmm. to my cause, and also means that I get to be extra nice to Alistair. They are the heroes of legend who ended the blights and saved us all. Aww. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow wardens in the south. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your daughter is also an excellent candidate. How do you know? You haven't seen me do this anything. This is my daughter we're talking about. I think I rather like that idea, Father. Is there a reason I shouldn't join them? I have no interest in becoming a Grey Warden. Perhaps that would get me into battle. Um, I'm going to say, is there a reason I shouldn't join them? You did just finish saying that Grey Wardens are heroes, old friend. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Because Duncan understands Pardon. politics. Can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? Um, uh, of course. In the meantime... I like how the second one was, don't strain my abilities or anything. <laughs> Um, find Fergus and tell him to lead the troops to Oscar ahead of me. Um, where, where is, is Fergus? Fergus in his chambers, no doubt. Spending some last moments with his wife and my grandson. Be a good lass and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. You could have just said their names. Like, this character would know their names. His wife and my grandson. Like, is really clunky exposition. I know, where are they the family from Knives Out? But it's fine. I'm, I'm not worried about it. I'm oh, you're getting all the DLC. Duncan. I'm sorry, but I believe your father wishes to talk to the Arl and myself alone. Um, may we speak your later? Your father has left you in charge of the castle? Then I will see you at dinner tomorrow, if not sooner. Um, I would prefer it then to be sooner. in the morning. 
I will seek you out before Sir Gelmo. This is, I like just tapping the button. Would that be sufficient? Yeah, it's smooth. Yeah. Um, would that be sufficient? Uh, I guess it will do. Until the morning, then. I look forward to it. Yes. 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 <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh wow. Um. He's not going to be evil at all. <laughs> King Merrick, he drove the Orlesians out of Ferelden. Ooh, King Merrick. Times. The years since have not held the same promise. Ah, fuck it's off. Free for Elden is something that people couldn't even dream of. It will be good of. to ride beside your father again. Uh, you knew King Merrick? Your father hasn't spoken about time with him? That man took care of his friends. As they say, he was large as life and twice as tall. <laughs> it's hm. too bad Kalen isn't half that. Oh, fucking... Too. You don't think much of King Kalen. I think of him as much as he thinks at all. Ouch. Oh. You speak of our king. The girl did ask, your lordship. As per the latitude you allow. I merely offered... Rude. Yeah, rude. The latitude you allow. It's like, his um, name. don't want none, don't start none, man. I trust the delay with your men is nothing serious. Poor weather, I believe. Their progress has been slow, but it's nothing you need worry about. Um, you told my father that the delay was your fault. Another time, then. Oh, whoops. I you said I should one. go. I love just hitting the button, especially when it's the wrong one. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, really, you should do as your father asked. The trouble ahead won't wait for these little chats. Um, ba -da -ba -ba. But you're going to still answer all my questions. Yeah, you're still going to answer asshole. all my questions, though. Um, there we go. Weather, I believe. Their progress has been slow, but it's nothing you need worry about. Oh, how do I skip? Eh. Um, two. In a manner you told speaking, my father the delay was my fault. If I had reinforced our border levies earlier, my troops could have left before the rains. I confess. My confidence in your father allowed me some complacency. I guess that makes it as much his fault. Uh, Deflecting. No, it doesn't. It's your fault. It's really not. It doesn't. Um, your son is interested in me. The topic has come up from time to time. The young and their infatuation. No, you just want to marry into this powerful family, you fuck. Uh, I got the impression Thomas didn't like me. I'm sure that was years ago. People change. To be honest, I have no expectations. And your father seems determined to mm. let you find your own way. Good dad. If something did happen, well, we'd address it as befits a family of our stature. Hmm. Um, we'll see. I'm sure there will be much to discuss once I return. Um... I just want to wish you well, Arl Howe. Uh, I'm sure that won't thank you. That backfire. Quite unnecessary. Wow, yeah. you look shifty as fuck. I know, right? <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, so um, I did some inventory management, which we are mostly going to be cutting out. Um, because oh my god, it's it is... so boring! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just watching her shuffle shit around. It's thrilling, yeah, it's very thrilling watching the, the fucking inventory management stuff. Um, oh, but, like, so here's boring. an example of why we're cutting it out. And then... Weapons? Do I have anything? I don't have enough dexterity for that yet. Don't have enough dexterity for that yet either. That's fine. Um, the lion's paw, light boots. See, it's terrible. It's very boring. Um, <laughs> so I will yeah. show you what my loadout is, uh, just for sake of, you know, ease. I got my daggers. Uh, they're just the regular daggers that they come with. Um, they do four damage. Yeah, you're going to do the double um, stabbing Drax thing where you just I've got stuff Helm go of the Deep, which looks terrible on me, but... Uh, I have a bunch of, I guess, DLC stuff because the, the version Chris bought was for like five bucks, but apparently came with all of the things. So I got a bunch of DLC stuff, which I don't usually have when I play this game, but I figure if I've got it, I might as well use it. So Helm of the Deep, 
uh, gives me some constitution and some resistances. Um, leather, leather gloves, uh, leather armor, which is the regular stuff that you get. Um, I've got the lion's paw, which gives me plus one armor Ooh. and 10% chance to dodge attacks, which is that so a, like, that's, that's like a, that's a, a rogue DLC thing. Yeah. Those are my boots. Yeah. Some cute. swag boots. Um, I got the Dalish promise ring, which gives me health regeneration and bonus on healing effects. Is that effects. cultural appropriation? Yeah, probably. But like everything that humans do to elves in this world is kind of cultural appropriation or genocide. So like, you know, eh. um, the wicked oath, which gives me armor penetration, stamina regeneration and 10 percent critical or backstab damage. So if I get up behind yeah. them, um, Pearl of the Anointed, which is an amulet and gives plus one to all my attributes uh, and gives me more money. So I was like, yeah, I want that money. Um, Guild Master's Belt, three cunning, and 5% ja chance to dodge attacks. Um, and increases monetary gain. <laughs> uh, there's some stuff in here that is very specifically for rogues, so I used it. Um, there's some other stuff in here that would be useful, but I chose these things for the reasons that I listed. And uh, I'm sure there's someone who probably thinks I did the worst job ever, but meh. Um, so... We've talked to Arl Howe. Um, I don't think my dad's going to talk to me. Should you be off to your brother, as I am? Oh, he will talk to me a little oh, bit. Yeah. Let's see. What are you doing? Um, boo, boo, boo. Are you sending all our forces south a good idea? When the king demands it. In fact, not sending our forces south would be a distinctly bad idea. Don't worry. Would it, though? You shouldn't I'm sending all problems, my forces. But I want all you to your forces? Men left here, in case. Um, in case of what? Legends of the Blights tell of horrible things. These darkspawn once threatened many lands. Are there, like, darkspawn around? Like, you're leaving when the darkspawn are already here? Well, they're supposed to be south. Um, unless I'll do my best father, I swear it. Unless they're in league with a certain, you are a Kuzman, uh, clown-voiced advisor. We shall assume that all yeah. will be Clown voice. We all float down here, dark spawn. Um, are you sure you'll be all right? Your I guess Pennywise is kind of a dark spawn. Not an afternoon tea. Who knows what will happen to us? I will tell you, however. You're my darling daughter. I love you, and I trust you completely to carry on the Kuzlin name if the worst should happen. Nice. But don't worry about me, dear girl. You'll have enough to occupy your mind while I'm gone. Ah. I'll go now. I'll talk to you soon. Just let me finish my meeting with Duncan. All right. So Duncan's not going to talk to us. None of these guards are really going to talk to us. Like, uh, say hi to one of them. Move out of my way. Uh, the the Dragon Age world. It the dragons in it are like actual dragon shaped and not just like overgrown wyverns. Uh, they have like arms and yeah, can they talk. Yeah, legs. They can't talk. Um, they're like basically beasts, but they're cool and you can fight yeah. them. At least they're dragon shaped, uh, not wyvern shaped. They are dragon shaped. Um, and who I'm are you? A member of Alhau's personal guard. The rest of the Al's forces are expected tonight. I understand you shall take charge of your father's castle once we march. Uh. That's a little nosy. Not that I have anything <laughs> to say about it, and so I'm told. Yes. Ah. Oh, you're I'm playing it nice. Sure. You're a nice person. Good evening, my lady. Well. Yeah. I didn't come plot to the helpers. To the NBCs. They help you with the plot. Uh. All right. Yeah. I like that juddery way. You just like. Sorry, I'm not used to the. No, no, it's not you. It's the game. Summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. Oh, uh, hello to you too, Sir Gilmore. Is this Tim Curry's son? Pardon my abruptness, my lady. It's simply that I've been looking everywhere for you. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again. I forgot that I start with the dog. Oh, you start with the Mabari dog? Yeah. It's the same dog that you would normally get in the gray world. Well, it's area? the same like in model, yeah, but it's not the same dog. Well, the other dog is still um, not. Oh, did the dog get into the larder again? No matter how the maids try to keep him out, he always finds a way in. You know these Mabari hounds. He'll listen to his mistress, but anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. <laughs> uh, Stupid. He knows better than to hurt anyone. Quite lucky to have your own Mabari Warhound, you know. 
Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Yeah, wow, you do start privileged as a human noble. Yeah! You don't even have to do a side quest to get a dog. Yeah! Shall we? Does this dog have a canonical name or is it like a name? Um, it starts just with dog yeah. as its name. Um, alright, so we're gonna go save the fucking cook from the dog. It's that way. Oh, yep. It's in there. God, these graphics bring me back to an era of PC yeah, gaming I'm so warm about. But mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves, I swear it. A lot of you are saying larder. Calm down, good woman. It's just We've a closet. You, no, it's a larder. You, I'm sure that means something. Specifically got food in it. Oh, isn't down. that a pantry? Well, it's, yeah, but it's, you know, old English Old style. English, yes. Um, it's where they kept the lard in the larder. Okay, so here are my options, and I just want to say them for the last one. Um, I'm sorry he's bo he's he's bothering you, Nan. He's not a mongrel. He's a purebred Mabari. Perhaps you should lock your larder tighter. Maybe you should be put down. <laughs> and I'm a human just noble, so that's an actual threat. With a castle full of hungry soldiers. I said you I'm sorry he's bothering you, Nan. Like Get out of the way. <laughs> I'm not a psychopath. <laughs> Whatever. Without even like, I, I'm. Sh I don't think I've played through this opening, but without even knowing uh, exactly how this is gonna go, I know how fantasy tropes go, and this whole place is probably gonna be burnt to the ground by the end of this <laughs> opening. Because I have a lovely <laughs> house. Yeah, that's, that's fantasy nice tropes, family. right? For you, the, the only way it would be worse if it was a nice little that's village untouched by the puppy. gathering Look war. Oh, is this where your love of squish face dogs came from? <laughs> Oh, good boy. Uh, okay, I have to. I have to scold him. Um, oh wait, are you trying to tell me something, boy? So my options are: enough. Oh, you're this a bad is a lassie situation. Me? Um, what a smart boy you are. Yes, you are. Sit right there. I'm not putting up with this. Or are you trying to tell me something, boy? Yeah, go with the lassie <gasps> one. What is it? What is it? It does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait, did you hear that? Mabari are lassies. They're all Please lassies. enter the name for the dog. Where are we going to name your dog? What should we name a puppy? Mm, how about something from another Bioware franchise? But Fane. Rex. Rex, yes! Yes! Uh, it's part cliche, but part hilarious. It's W-R-E-X, right? Yes. That's how it's alien. Rex. Shepherd. Yay! Rex. Shepherd. So there's the codex. Oh, look! Oh, you've entered combat with a giant rat. Oh, it's positive. The typical it's first enemy first. of a video game. Yay, our first combat against giant rats. I'm having problems there. Hold on. Yeah. Because they're tiny. Come here. Oh, dirty oh, yeah. fighting! I just dirty fought a rat. Watch out, they might bite. Out, they might bite. No shit. Yay! You solved the problem for me. True nobility! <laughs> like the start of every bad adventure tale. Like, what did I say? Yeah. A lot of this is gonna call back to some stuff that I've stolen from this game. Yeah. Uh, yeah, those were very large rats. Uh, maybe it was just a coincidence. So my hound put me in danger. Great. It certainly looks that way. He's a good boy. Those were rats from the Kokari wilds. Best not to tell Nan. She's upset enough as it is. I mean... As as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. Okay. Oh, well, bye, Sir Gilmore. Fade to black. Now I have my puppy! And, All right, uh, we gotta a read the codex of dead about Rex. Ooh, I can just click on the codex. That's very cool. Rex, the Mabari is clever enough to speak and wise enough to know not to. Ferelden prover proverb. Trina's warhound has a pedigree older than high ever and a... Oh, this penchant. Word. Penchant. Penchant? Penchant? A penchant for driving cooks to distraction. Yeah, Look at well, all those nicely yeah, laid out dead rats. rats. Loot that shiny sparkly thing. Oh, I'm going to loot all the shiny sparkly things. Yeah. It's like, I live here. This place is mine. Is mine. Ergo, all of this is mine this. to just take. 
Yay, deep mushroom. All right. I love the shiny sparkly stuff. There oh. he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. Just covered in blood. Actually, he was defending your rat larder from rats, big ones. He's not so bad, Nan, just a dog being a dog. Yes, well, what can you do? I'm telling the truth. What? Rats? Not the large gray ones. They'll rip you to shreds, they will. See, now you've gone and scared the servants. I expect those filthy things are dead. Uh, yes, the rats are dead. It's quite a mess, in fact. My faithful warhound made sure it's safe. I took care of it. No need to be afraid. Um, I'm going to say my faithful the, yeah, warhound the credit on... made sure it's safe because, to be brutally honest, he did. I barely did anything in that fight. <laughs> Spent most of my time that trying that to click them because I'm not used to the controls with. yet. <laughs> Aww. Don't even start with the sad eyes. Aww. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Uh, no, you're not. Nobody Aww, is. Aww, he's so cute. Here then, take these pork bits and don't say that Nan never gets Yes! <laughs> Who's a good boy? Now we can get to work. Oh, who's a good boy? About. Oh, there's a good dog. Who's a good dog? You're a good dog. You can't pet the dog though, because we didn't invent that yet, did we? Or I guess you can, but it's like an off screen thing where it's like you hit pet dog and then it just like. Yeah. You don't Beautiful actually boy. pet the dog. The dog just rolls around. Because he's happy. I know, but we hadn't developed that animation because getting characters to touch <laughs> each other was really dicey in this age. Really dicey. They would either go too far like above, like hover hands, or they would just phase right well, through them. Wait until you see the, the and sex it would look scenes. Like, and it would look like you're just mostly reaching into the skull of your Mr. beloved no, dog. Mr. No, I never fucking romanced anybody. Really? Because that's like a failure. You didn't really play the video game then. Like I said, I think after I think what really killed me yes. was the tower. That really killed my interest in like anything but just straight up finishing the game because I was like oh, I spent all this time doing this tower in the fade and it's like I wanted to give up but then I came back to it and after I, by the time I finished that point I was just like, Yeah, let's just sprint towards the ending of this thing because I want to know how it ends. <laughs> and then it ends with like a big long text crawl that I barely remember. Well, like, fucking, so does fucking Mass Effect. Mass Effect 3. <laughs> Mass Effect 3 doesn't end with a text crawl. It it's ends with a montage that's very terrible and often, evening, the, often in retconned with different bits of explaining additional footage. Is this where I started? No, this is not no, where That's I a nice hall. That's it's where nice you all hall. have dinner. Locked item. Wait, where? See, this is what I mean by I'm definitely going to get lost. Oops. Ooh. Anything in here? Oh, hi, Rex. Your head's in a wall. <laughs> He's cute. Hello, my dear girl. By chance, I am beginning to teach these oh. young squires about your family's history. Ooh. Oh, I know that Do voice. History is boring. <laughs> so boring. <laughs> history is so boring. It's all right. It is boring. <laughs> yeah, say Still it the same tax master, I see. Um, they could do with some discipline. I'm going to say it's all right. It is I see boring. you haven't changed. <laughs> 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 Uh, no, thank you. I must tend to an important task. Certainly, I'd be happy to. I'm quite familiar with the subject matter. I'm a bit old for lessons, I think. Now, you know what? Sure. Wonderful. The Coosland history is long. I know that voice. That voice Where is like in start? cartoon shows from uh, when I was a kid. Um, when was our line founded? It. Records are vague. But the Cooslands became Tiens during the Black <laughs> Age. Is that familiar, Oh, the child? Black Age. Is this mine? Yes. Yeah. Um, cunning during the lycanthrope plagues. Ooh, Ooh werewolf plagues. <laughs> Side so tangent, uh, there was a trailer released for a movie today called Werewolf Within, Tamara. And I saw that it was a co-production with, uh, with um, Sony and Ubisoft. And I was like... Why is Ubisoft making a movie? And apparently it's based off of a 2016 game that essentially is a Among Us hmm. genre ripoff. That's cool. So I mean, like, not cool that it's a ripoff. 
Like, well, it, I guess no ripoff because they came out the same year. Does it look terrible? I yeah. haven't watched the trailer yet, oh, but okay. I just saw, I was like, I was curious and I looked up what it was. Um, so basically the reason why we're in charge is because we did something really fucking smart during werewolf plagues. Yeah. Uh, we did patrols and we instituted a curfew and then a bunch of other bands were like, that's a really good idea. We're going to do that. And also Two basic you're things. in charge now. Yeah. Um, mm. we predate the founding of the kingdom. Yes. I thought it was that uh, he ordered everybody in town shaved so they could eat more easily tell who was a werewolf. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I was in the middle of having a drink. <laughs> it's a literal spit take. All over the computer. All over the computer. Thank you, Christopher. Oh my. I appreciate that. Thank you. Now I'm sticky because it had Ani in it. Hold on. <laughs> uh, it's fine. It's totally fine. Oh, that guy just bumped into a wall. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. He just walked into the wall. He was like, Bump, oh, books. Um, uh, so, recovering from that. I'm glad. He goes, I'm glad some of my lessons didn't dis don't disappear into that yawning chasm between your ears, young lady. And then I'm going to go, it's your skill as a tutor, of course. If I were truly a skilled tutor, I suspect I would not encounter such... Insouciance amongst my pupils. Wow, that's a college word. Oh god, that voice rate, is so familiar. Has held the of Google it. Since we have Google, you can Google it. United Ferelden. In fact, Tierna Elefie What's this character's name? Calentan to maintain Hyever's independence. <sighs> and Callanhad let us keep the Tierneur, uh, and we we oppose the king? Oh. We oppose well, the, the king. are ardent royalists now, but at that time, Kalanhad was unknown and considered dangerous by many. Oh. When Kalanhad's army reached Hyever, Tierna Elethea led the local bands against him. Obviously, Kalanhad. That's won. cool that, like, ladies can also be Tierns. Right? Yeah. It's not sexist. Yeah, it's not like, it's not like, you know, you, like, I would be Tierna uh, whatever, and I guess I would keep my last name, yeah. because she's called Tierna Kuzlin, so I imagine she, she got to keep her last name. I like that. Yeah, I forgot that I liked that. Um, come to think of it, I have things I must do. Callan had let us keep the Tierner, Tierner. Um, tell me about our relationship with Arl Howe. I'm going to ask about the Tyrner. Callanhad wished to unite Ferelden, not conquer it. Oh, oh this guy is. is Callanhad's nice. You don't know who Characters. he is? Characters. Uh, hold on. Fealty. The boulder where they held is it Darren? Is this character's name? A memorial of that mm -hmm. event. What is this teacher's character's name? Um, hold on. Let me find out what the name is. Here. Uh, yeah. Tell me about a relationship with Arl Howe. The history between the Kuslins and the Howes reaches back to the... Orlesian oh, they don't have his name. Occupation. Yeah, it's not on the thing. Um, when I leave, though, I'll be able to hover over him and it'll say his name. Um, go on. During the rebellion against Orlais, several battles were fought near High Ever. The port village of Harpers Ford was the Turnier's center. It's Arl was Tarleton Howe. Yeah. Though nearly 90, he was still as sharp and bitter as cheap ale. Your grandfather openly supported the rebellion, but how sided with Orlay? Your family was forced to seize Harper's Ford before it was all over. Oh, shit. But my father and our Howe are friends. The Howes eventually joined the rebellion, when all of Ferelden united behind King Merrick oh, and General okay. mm -hmm. Just as now we united behind Merrick's son, King Caelan. Yeah, I found the guy. Fight One moment, I'm just looking up his his actor. Thank you for indulging an old man. Ah. Does that mean we have to listen to you now? Silence! I will not have you two becoming smart-mouthed hooligans. <laughs> go. I doubt they need any more distraction. That's what it is. He's the voice of Winnie the Pooh. What? That's Jim Cummings. Apparently, I just talk to myself for all the good. Oh my god! It's Winnie the Pooh? Yep, I'm looking up uh, his whole filmography because he's done a bunch of other stuff. He's Aldos. Yeah, that's the same character. Oh my god! Winnie the Pooh! Now this is the dark spawn oh my god, this IMDb app is, is terrible. 
Mother says the darkspawn will all be killed, mm -hmm. and I won't see one. Is that true? I already checked for stuff. Do 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 do. Good evening, my lady. Yes. Why do you keep just showing me? Never mind. Oh look, fancy people. And my dear Bryce bought this back from Orlais last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my lovely daughter. I take it by the presence of that trouble. Yeah, Jim Cummings basically been in everything. The Princess and the Frog, he was Ray. Wow. Yep. His voice is in Aladdin. But yeah, mostly known for Winnie the Pooh. Uh, yes, mother. You always had a way with her. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Ban Lawrence's wife? Oh, I hello. Think we last met at your mother's spring salon. Oh my gosh, rich people. Um, were you drunk? <laughs> So they really, like, sprung for a voice cast, even on this um, game. If you say so, this will have to wait. Father sent me to find Fergus. Of course, it's good to see you again, my lady. Didn't I spend half the salon trying to convince you to marry my son? And made a very poor case for Everybody it. wants you to marry his son. I know, right? My son, Dyron. Are these all daughters in the male opening? It's good to see you again, my lady. You're looking as beautiful no, as... No, I don't think so. I think it's just that lady is into you. Uh, um, you're looking as beautiful as ever. Flatterer, flatterer, go soak your head. You're looking handsome yourself. Thank you. Just say thank you. It's polite. And this is my lady in waiting. Iona. Do say something, dear. It is a great pleasure, my lady. Oh, you, you can't be gay yet, so you can't guys. secretly be like, hey, what's going what's on? What's up? I can be gay. I can no, sleep with Liliana. Oh, really? Yes. You can be lesbian gay, I not can. gay gay. Well, not until the sequel, you right? When you're going to have hot gay elf well, sex? Get me any more grandchildren. No, I can be gay gay, too. I can have sex with Zevran as a man. Oh, okay. Good for They're both bisexual. So then this definitely came after Mass Effect. Yeah. Because we're um, playing on Legendary, we've noticed the cracks in that regard. Oh, yeah. It's really funny. Once you solve the problems of the Mako doesn't work and the combat doesn't work, you start noticing writing cracks instead. It's very interesting. Yeah. Because I recently, when when Legendary Edition was announced, I'm going on a Mass Effect tangent, but that's that's going to happen because it's Bioware. Um, when, when Legendary Edition was announced, I restarted the first one a little bit. I played, like... I think I became a Spectre and I got to the first planet and then I was just at a certain point where I was like, ugh, the Mako's so bad and like, this this combat is rough and I was like, ugh. We got Legendary Edition. It fixes both of those problems. So now you see the writing problems and it's <clears throat> really interesting yeah. because I did not see them before. So it's really funny and also it's like, oh, some of this did not age well. Like, it's because when the like combat the was so bad, that, the dialogue would be like a relief. Like the fact that Garrus's biggest complaint about C-Sec is red tape and the fact that he can't just shoot people. And it's like... Oh, yeah. Gar no, Garrus you, is like an authoritarian. Yeah, like, like no, you, you shouldn't be able to just shoot people. You're a cop. <laughs> like, yeah. that shouldn't be... And, like, Executor Palin's all like, I don't like specters because specters think they're above the law. And you're supposed to be like, fuck you, old man. But, like, no... They are He's above right. the law. <laughs> like, anyway, that was my first Mass Effect tangent, I'm sure, of many. Um, but uh, Proud doesn't get me any more grandchildren. She wants me to marry this guy. Um, perhaps we should speak alone sometime, Darian. I can handle my own affairs, thank you. Uh, may I go now, Mother? <laughs> and you are aware that we're at war. Um, I think I'm going to be, like, polite but firm here. Yeah. Stop trying to set me up with people. <laughs> All evidence to the contrary. Excuse I me. Perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Darren, I will see you and Iona at supper. She's supposed to be super old. We'll retire to the study. Some modeling yeah. problems there. She just looks as young as everybody else with, like, bad makeup. <laughs> bad makeup. Bad oh, makeup. What do you want, Mom? You should say goodbye to Fergus while you have the chance. Uh, yeah, your your parents look nothing like you. No, they look nothing. You like are me. adopted. This is my mother. You are um, adopted, Tamara. I hate brother. to break it. I hate to break it to you, Tamara, but you are adopted. And my brother also looks nothing like me. <laughs> when you meet Fergus, it's like, oh wow, it's just a bunch of pasty pale white folks. And then me. Hmm. Yeah, I hate to break it to you. You were adopted, or your dad should have some questions for your mom. Yeah. Um. Do you know there's a gray warden yeah, here? 
You haven't got it into your head that you want to be recruited. Uh, the dark spawn have returned. Grey Wardens are needed. Father wouldn't allow it. Uh, would that be so bad? And definitely not. Would that be so There's bad? Enough here at the castle to occupy you. I Let's hear the dog off whimpering off screen. Like your He's like, don't do that. I'd be sad. Um, do you know where Fergus might be? Why can't I go with Father and Fergus? I have a bad feeling about all this. Are you staying at the castle? Are you staying at the castle? For a few days. Then I'll travel with Lady Landra to her estate and keep her company for a time. Your father thinks my presence here might undermine your authority. Your character model looks pretty oh. good. Like, the character models look pretty good in this. Yeah, they look okay for, you know, 2009. The problem is they don't really progress too much because these don't look that far off of what Inquisition ended up with. Okay, that's rude. Um, <laughs> I don't think you should go. I was about to suggest that myself, as you wish. Um, I don't think you don't should go. My dear. It won't be long. Um, do you know where Fergus might be? Why can't I go with Father and Fergus? I know it's difficult to stay in the castle and watch others ride off, but we must see to our duties first. You understand that, don't you? Um, what if they fall without me? I could make a difference. Yes, I understand. What if they fall without me? It's in the maker's hands now, and we must cope as best we can. Aw. Um, do you know where Fergus might be? If he's not out with his men, probably upstairs with Oriana. Uh, I have a bad feeling about all this. As do I. Your father and brother are marching off to fight the maker knows what. All the assurances in the world don't comfort me. This but graphically does look much better than on the PS3. Yeah. Yeah. And your father had their but like, we have ours. PS3 has a special place in my heart still. I should go. I love you, my darling girl. You know that, don't you? I love you too. I'm hardly a girl anymore. Just what say I love you on? too. Yeah, I love you too. You must then. No hug. Soon. We'll just awkwardly stand at an arm's length. <laughs> Not even. I'm s it's like, this is kind of. Oh my god, my mom has such big boobs. Well, I guess that's where I get it from. Um. You have a real Merida thing going on with your outfit and your station. Well. Yeah. Oh, look at this! I'm unlocking all the doors because I'm a rogue. Ugh, love it. Living love that it. rogue life. Living that rogue life. Yeah. It's super worth it. Oops, ran into a wall. Still getting used to the... There Good we evening, go. Lady. It's been a while since I played WoW. Wee. Alright, where am I now? Uh, ooh. What's in here? What's in this lock shall be done. Oh, key required. It's locked, alright. <laughs> As you say. That's us making fun of Jonathan from the game Vampire. Oh, it's Spelt with a Y. And the kids. Wait, I have to check the things first. <laughs> Somebody yeah, knows what she is doing. Somebody knows where game progression is. See, like, if I weren't gonna be dating my Dragon Age boyfriend, then I would definitely do Liliana's romance because Liliana is, like, one of my... Really the only character I don't like romancing and... It's like harsh, but also like I just don't really like her. Is which Morgan. one's Liliana again? Liliana is, uh, or no, is it Liliana? Liliana is the isn't Liliana from uh, Inquisition? Yes, she's a companion in this one, and then she's in Inquisition. It is begun. No, not Li are you thinking it's of Morinth? No, or whatever her name is. No, Flemeth's that's daughter? Morgan, and Morgan. Morgan is the one that I don't like romancing. Is what I just said. Oh, yeah, I don't like Morgan. Um, sorry. Specific I just, detail on why you don't like Morgan? Is she just uh, a bitch? You'll find out as we play. She's just kind of like the anti the kind of characters I play. She's very uh, about she's... herself and about like, oh, well, you know, what's the matter with this guy making money? And it's like, well, he's jacking up goods that they just sold to him because they're refugees and he can make a profit. That's what's wrong with it. And she's like, I see no problem with this. Yeah, but isn't like the point like her arc? Because by the time you see her in Inquisition, she's like a nicer person Maker, even oh, if her mom's I don't think I've ever done this before forgive our transgressions Maker, forgive us all oh I don't I don't think I've talked to this woman before really yeah for your brother and father I'd be happy to ask for the maker's blessings with you no I don't think I've ever done this um I don't see the point if it will make you feel better perhaps later. I would appreciate that. You know what? Should I do like a devout Andr Andrastian or should I do like a I'm skeptical of Andraste? 
Well, Andraste actually exists in this universe. Yes, but like... Uh, so you might as well be on the winning team. All right. <laughs> I would appreciate that. Call me Malone. Often we play skeptics. We should just play a full-throated believer. That's true. Maybe they can have a crisis of faith about it if the game allows that. Your people in our time of need. Uh, make her watch over us. Let no man have cause to fear the shadows. Let their souls be lifted upon your return. So this is cool. I've never be. done this before. Cool. Yeah. Make her forgive then, us all. I'll be keeping a vigil tonight. You're welcome to come. There are many more who must receive the Maker's blessings before they leave. If you would excuse me. Um... Could you answer I a few questions? Many await my attendance before they march into the unknown. That's fair. We shall talk once the soldiers have departed. Wow. Cool. Cool. Wow. You saw your first I'm, new thing. My first new thing on this playthrough. And I'm sure there are many more to come. Um... I wonder if that's like something they added yeah. in for PC later on, or no, if it's just it, a door it, you were you never know, it's to probably just a door I was never, I never went through because I went right to go talk to Fergus. This is kind of why I'm exploring these places it now. It's because I want to like check. Because also it'll all be burned to the ground, ashes I'm and dust. Not I'm sure. Saying nothing. It shall be done. Oh, uh, this idyllic little place that just happens to have its entire army leaving tonight. Okay, they're talking. <clears throat> yep, just checking out all the doors. It's okay, oh, I own just... this place. Uh, ignoring your duties, playing cards, taking a break. Well, uh, well, the treasury's safe. I'm not even sure why the turn stationed us here. Uh, don't worry about a man. I won't say anything. Do you always question your duties? Did my father fear someone would steal something? Actually, I'm going to ask that. don't know. Nobody has come to look at the treasury. Nice. Um, who has the key to the treasury? Then perhaps you better get back to work. I'll forget about it this time. Continue your game. Pretend I never came by. Who has the key to the, the treasury? And perhaps the tanner? Honestly, don't know, my lady. Um... Continue your game. Pretend I never came by. My lady is very kind to show us such lenience. Guess this is the treasury key required. Yeah. Yeah. That tracks. I've done this one before. That one I've seen. All right. I like the mist. That's a good little detail when you go lower there. Yeah, yeah. I'm, um... I think I'm a fan of PC version. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, obviously, PlayStation version is going to have a little place in my heart. Actually, fun fact, I actually finished it the first time on the Xbox 360, or played it the first time anyway on the Xbox 360, uh, because my ex had it. So I But played you, it like, played him. it all the way through on the PS3. Yes, I finished it all the way through on the PS3. That was the version I had to restart. Good evening, my lady. Do you see how I could get lost in this place, Chris? No, yeah, <laughs> because everything looks the same, and it just goes like... Oh, look, I'm the, back at the start, where I started. <laughs> in like a zigzag pattern. Yes. So it's like, okay. I feel like I found everything. Yep. Go, go talk, talk to, to them kids. Whee! There's a run, walk, toggle, but I don't know where it is. Yeah, I saw it was. Like well, if you hit escape, something. you can actually see the key bindings. Yeah, it was. I know. I was looking at it, and it was like shift something, but like I've got the. Is there yeah. really going to be a war, Papa? I kind of think that's fast enough. Oh, there, there's your brother who looks Soul nothing Warren. like you. Yep. And I'll get you the mightiest one I can what find. What does Bioware have against brothers and sisters? Because they just always kill your I siblings, especially in this franchise. My heart is disquiet. Because the second one, hands. too. Boy, love. Did you see her hands? Yeah. And here's my little sister to see. I remember me. most my mother's eyes, loving mother hands. Me well. um, should I wait outside? Just let me know when you two are finished. No dark spawn could harm Fergus. You two are nauseating me. I'm just going to go. Let me know when you two are finished. <laughs> When there's a man in your life, you'll understand. Aw. 
Um, I prefer my freedom, thank you. Who said I don't have one now? Men are overrated. No fewer than three, if you please. <laughs> Say men are overrated. <laughs> one day you'll meet someone who can handle you. Huh? Mark my words. My love. Um, I wish I could go with you. I wish you could come. It'll be tiring. Ah, you look up to him. Myself. Even though that eyeline is way that. off. A woman <laughs> fighting in battle would be unthinkable. Is that so? I always heard Antivan women were quite dangerous. Mm. With kindness and poison only, my husband. Ah. This from the woman who serves me my tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, did you know there's a great warden in the castle? Was he riding a griffin? Oh, what's wrong with your eyebrows, son? <laughs> they picked the terrible ones. <laughs> I heard that. Did he say why he's come? Um, he says he's recruiting. He's going to test Sir Gilmore. It's not important. Good for him. I hope he makes it. If I were a Grey Warden, though, I'd have my eye on Remember you. Remember how we were uh, watching a thing way. this morning where somebody had like done broken the camera in uh, Resident Evil to really look at the Demetrescu's facial expressions for each scene and it was really interesting how you could see like the micro expressions and mm -hmm. you know all that stuff this is the opposite of that <laughs> <laughs> everybody's like stone faced okay. and staring straight well, at I know it's 2009 like, you know and it's older yeah old. it's I an get old it game. I get it but like I think Half-Life 2 came out in 2004 <laughs> and even then it's literally like a decade old um you'll be missed brother if it's any consolation, I'm sure I'll freeze in the southern rain and be completely jealous of you up here, warm and safe. I am positively thrilled that you will be so miserable, husband. Mm. Um, do you really think the war will be over quickly? Word from the south is that the battles have gone well. There's no evidence that this is a true blight, just a large raid. Mm. Would that be true? I'll sure. I'll see myself soon enough. Pray for me, love, and I'll be <laughs> sure. There won't be a dragon that shows up later. <laughs> I bring a message. Father wants you to leave without him. Then the Isle's men are delayed. You'd think his now, men were all walking backwards. Well, I'd better get underway. So many darks born to be ahead. So little time. Off we go then. I'll see you soon, my love. Now this game takes place during the actual literal Dragon like Age. Like that's what they call yes, this period in time. Yes. Yes. Um, when did this the Dragon Age start? Like how far are they into um, it? I'm not sure. I'll have to ch take a look in the codex. I think it's fairly it. like soon into the Dragon Age, right? I will pray for your safety every day you're gone. So she's gonna pray to the Maker. Um, you could have just delivered your message yourself, Father. Um, Fergus will be fine. He might just need those prayers. I'm gonna say Fergus will be I've fine. Been telling you, no dark sword will ever best me. Sure. Make yeah, he will be. He'll be fine. Over Don't worry about Fergus. Fergus will be fine. Fathers and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. Uh, for the men, of course. I was going to say, mm. casually talking about cheating on your wife in front of her? Front of That's mother. a bold move, Cotton. What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? <laughs> a, wench a wench is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Nice. Mm. Make us breath. It's like living with a pair of small boys. Thankfully, I have a daughter. Yeah. I'll miss you, mother dear. Can I burp? <laughs> I was gonna say I'm such a typical daughter here in my fucking blood covered um, steel armor with two swords. Well, I'm not covered in blood right now. Uh, yeah. Oh, just go already. You can count on me. You'll need protecting more than her. Mother can handle herself. Always has. It's true. I said they mother can handle her, herself. Not me. Nice. She would scold those darkspawn back into the deep roads. Well, I'm glad you find this so funny. Mm. <laughs> enough, <laughs> enough, pup. You'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow. All right. I'm going to... I think we should... Uh, we should go to bed. Right? It's bedtime. Let's time for bed. sleepy beds. Yeah. Bedtime. I didn't talk to Fergus or any of them, but, like, whatever. We'll yeah. Go to bed. I'm sure he'll be fine. He's going to be fine, right? He'll be fine. Well, he's leaving. Everything will be fine. Mm-hmm. Ooh, look, someone's drumming. Ooh, that was a nice oh, that transition. Was cool. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my. I'm in my undies. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. That's what you're sleeping? Guess. 
Uh oh. He stares at the door and growls. What's wrong, boy? Someone out there. I've had just about enough of you today. Uh, are you hearing rats again? Go after them already. I'm gonna say, what are you, what are you, what are you growling about? Did Timmy fall down the well? Do you hear someone outside? Lady, help me! The castle is under attack. Oh fuck! That dude dead. Now fight them in your underswear. Oh shit! Um, chest. I. Oh great! I just have to put my armor and stuff back on. Hold on, <laughs> hold on. I'm trying to fight. Hold on, hold on. I got these pants <laughs> just on. Give me a just second. Fighting. Just hold, hold on. on. Can you get this strap? Actually, I, it's always in a weird spot. Yeah. Oh my god! I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> I literally, I said I was gonna cut all this out for you, so you didn't have to sit and watch me do it. I forgot that I start naked, so it didn't really matter in the first place. Um. Uh, what was the other ones I had on? Uh, you had that Dalish ring. Yes, I had the Dalish ring. Remember the cultural appropriation? Yeah, I have, I think, the Lucky Stone. No, Wicked Oath was the other one I had. And then um, my belt. Uh, Guildmaster's belt. There. Now fuck him up. Now to fuck him up. Yeah. Nice. Can you rotate the camera? Yes, I can. Nice. No, don't hurt my dog. My dog's in the way. <laughs> yeah. How archer, eh? Yeah. Nice. All right. Good dog. You're a very good dog. Broke into the wrong goddamn bedroom, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> oh, that poor guy. He's all dead and stuff. Alright. Nope, there's more. Howe's soldier? Oh, right, Arlen Howe. Yes. See, now I'm stabbing him in the back so I get more damage because he's stunned and I went around him. This is like some red wedding shit. Yeah. Darling. I heard fighting outside. Oh, look at mom. Mom looks great. Are you mm -hmm. hurt? Um, I'm fine. What's going on? I was about to ask you that. Um, I was they about to ask you that. They never got through the door, thanks to you. A scream woke me up. There were men in the hall, so I barred the door. <coughs> you see their shields? Those are Howe's men. Why would they attack us? Mm. They want what you have. He's betrayed father. He attacks while our troops are gone. I don't know, mother, but we need to get out of here. Maybe you want to find Howe and ask him. You're going to say he's Howe's betrayed us. On purpose? I'll cut his lying throat myself. Yeah, Mom. Your father. He never came to bed. Uh, no, I haven't. I was in my room. Maybe he stayed up with Arl Howe. He could already be dead, Mother. I'm going to say no, I haven't. I we was in my room. We must find him. Um, maybe you should stay here. Can you still handle a weapon, Mother? It sounds like the battle's downstairs. We should check on Oriana and o Oren uh, as you well. You know your mom. How well is she going to do in combat? Mercy. Oh, Mom's fine. Don't what worry about Mom. the soldiers went into your brother's room first? <laughs> Let's check on them quickly. Then we'll look for Bryce downstairs. Mom doesn't need my help. I mean, she does, because, like, we need each mm. other's help. But, like, don't worry about Mom. Mom's fine. Um, loot them bodies. Loot them bodies. Oh. It shall be done. All right. Ooh, I can level up. Um, oh, I also did get to increase my attributes because I had a grimoire and another thing, and I got to use the two books. Cool. Um, so I have higher stats, and I have an extra... Pump up those numbers. Those are rookie numbers. Coercion thing. Um, so I'm going to give myself a strength and a magic, because I want everything to be 12, and then I'm going to give myself a constitution. Mm, right. No, I'm going to take away that constitution. I'm going to put in dex. Nice. Yeah. You're very dexterous. Yeah. Um, and then there's coercion, but I don't want that again. Instead, I'm going to grab... Maybe like a nice rogue attack or something? I'm going to grab survival. No, because this is just like your base thing. So stealing, mm -hmm. trap making, survival, herbalism, and combat tactics. 
attacks, but I'm going to use uh, survival because that lets me detect the presence of nearby creatures below the character's own level. This skill also grants a small bonus to nature resistance. So I want to be able to sense things that are weaker than me. And then, oh, uh, do I have another one? No, I didn't go. Uh, this one. Oh, because I hit clear. That's why. And then I get to pick a dual weapons thing. I want an actual attack because I just took proficiency. So uh, dual weapon sweep or dual striking? Which one? Uh, sweep sounds cool. Sweep. Sweep the leg. Sweep. And then I can do my doggo. Um, I will give him... I'm gonna give him a constitution and a strength. Oh, is this one of those... Is this... Did they do the thing where they evenly distribute points among your group, regardless of if they're in your party or not? Yes. Or do you... Good. It's not like... Because they did that with KOTOR, which was beneficial. Because before that, you had shit like Final Fantasy VII, where they didn't do that. So automatically, whoever you more used in your party, you were locked into using them. Because by the time you wanted to try someone else, they were too far below level to like be any sort of effectiveness. There's the sweep. Did you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Go, doggo, go, doggo, go. No, I got stunned. Dual weapon sweep. You're dead. That is a problem. Uh, the camera? Yeah. I think F12 is the is the battle cam, which is exclusive to the PC. Hmm. F12? I will look that up and double check it, but yeah. I'm pretty sure that it's like there's that special battle cam mode okay, that, that in my bedroom. is more like playing Diablo. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm adopted. <laughs> Eesh. What manner of fiend slaughters innocents? Oof. Uh, why would they do this? I'll make them pay. Don't look, mother. Uh, why would they do Mother's this? Mother's not even taking hostages. He means to kill all of us. Oh, poor fuckers. Let's go. I don't want to see this. Oof. Yeah. Perhaps we can salvage some things here, darling. As you say. Take Some of your all. father's belongings are in that trunk. Yeah, take all. And then... We must go downstairs and find out what's happening. Alright. I checked all the things. Ooh, this, there's a house soldier that I can loot. Oh, I looted him from very far away. Um... Okay. So that was a real bummer. Oh, dear Landra. Oh. I'm, I'm so sorry. If she hadn't come to me. If she hadn't been here. Mm. Oh, Mom. Yeah. It's not your fault. Well, this tour of tragedy isn't over yet. Let's continue through the castle. As you say. There definitely was a, a point where you could flirt with that Darien guy. Um. But I didn't do that because I'm not interested in flirting with him. So, he just died. Can you hear the fighting? Mm. Those men must be everywhere. Yeah. Um. How can we get out of the castle? Oh, it's so just the scroll wheel. Try scrolling back on the scroll wheel next time you're well, in we a. Must find your father first. Oh, okay. The front gate. That's where your father must be. Hmm. Um, is there nothing else we can I do? Have my treasury key. We could go there first and take the Kuslin sword from the vault. If anything yeah. is worth fighting to keep out of house hands, it's that sword. But it may be a dangerous path. Um, then let's go to the treasury. If house men are inside, they must already control the castle. We must use the servant's entry in the larder to escape. Do you hear me? Uh, oh. I um, hear you. I want how dead. Survive yeah. And visit vengeance upon him. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Um. Now, map. 
That's the treasury. So I have to go straight and then down. Oh my god, yeah, look at this castle. Straight and then down and then take. That'll make that shit easy. <laughs> yeah, I know. A right and then a left and then a right. Okay, so it's right, right, left, right. Yeah. Right, right, left, right. Try uh, try scrolling in and out on the scroll wheel of the mouse and you'll see. Uh, oh. See, there's oh. Your, your battle map. So that gives you a better idea of, and you can hit space bar to pause when you're in that map. Huh. And that might give you a better way to attack multiple targets. That's exclusive to the PC. Huh. Okay. I'll try that out. All right. So... Down this way. The castle has fallen! I'm getting out of here! Okay, go. Oh, don't be a coward, stand and fight? Alright, yeah, let's That's try. That's very persuasive. Yes, here, here they come! Aw, uh, you probably agreed. led to his death. <laughs> yeah, tr giving, try scrolling out and giving the combat uh, camera a try. Oh yeah, I like that way better. Yeah, that's yeah, that's kind of the more traditional Diablo like slash Baldur's die. Gate style. Good for him. Oh, it's an evil Mabari. There are no bad Mabaris, just bad Mabari owners. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. That's much quicker, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting that. I'm getting that. Hey, look at you. You're playing Dragon Age Origins in a new style. Ooh. Makes it a little bit fresher. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Yeah. I'm into that. And then I can zoom back in. Nice. All right. Okay. This is cool. This is very cool. Um... I just realized what we're at. Yes. We've been playing for almost two hours, over two hours. <laughs> You've been having such fun. I'm sorry. Um, what should we do? Uh, do you should want we get to the, to the treasury and then cut it? Yeah, we'll get to the treasury and then cut it. Okay. I feel like there should be a good point coming up here. And then we can okay, get wait. into all the later Where stuff. We, we had a bit of upfront uh, heaviness with creating the character and then all that other stuff, too. Oh, my God. There's more. That guy. Oh. They killed Winnie the Pooh? Yeah, they killed Winnie the Pooh. That's upsetting. Ooh. Those monsters! And stabbing him in the back. Nice. And then this guy. Stab you. Oh, oh. That zoomed in awfully quickly. Uh, you know what? You guys kind of got that guy. I'll take care of this guy. Is that that servant still? Yeah. He's still wow. alive. Okay, apparently he was a secret badass. Maybe he's the hero of Ferelden. <laughs> he's not. I am. Shut up. Just because of your privilege of being a human noble. Excuse me, I could have been literally any of the other openings and would have been the hero. Isn't that the lesson then. we should all take away in sure, life? Yeah. You could have just as easily been a city elf. Uh, yeah, he killed Winnie the Pooh. Ooh, I can take those now. <laughs> just the sad, resigned sound you said when you said, Yeah, he killed Winnie the Pooh. He did kill Winnie the Pooh. He's a dick. I'm gonna Arl how the dick killed Winnie the Pooh. Probably killed those kids. Mm -hmm. you see the kids around? No, I yeah, them. this is some red wedding shit. Yeah, that's what I mean. This, it's not like it's dark fantasy that fucks. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Also, this is when the the what should we call it? The health regenerated. So I don't yeah. have to... Take uh, potions and shit? Okay, where the hell am I? Okay, so straight, and then take that first... 
left down, and then go in here. We're getting close to the treasury. The Kuzlan family blade lies inside. Use that key I gave you. That blade cannot fall into Hal's hands. Okay, got it. Um, I'm gonna really quickly just save. Saving is important. Save. Castle Kuzland. Castle Kuzland. All right. Ah, uh, those guys are dead. The guys who were playing cards. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. yeah. I will be taking those weapons and that to armor. To sell later. Yeah, to sell later. I shall do it. Yeah, family sword. Nice. Which I believe I can wield with a dagger in my offhand. Let's check real quick. Because you have a big fight as soon as you exit the store? Nice. Yes, I can. Very nice. All right. We got the stuff at the treasury. I think this is a good place to cut it before we do anything else. Nice. Um, so. So, so Tamara, you just finished your first time playing Dragon Age Origins on PC for a recording. Yeah. You're very excited. I can yeah. tell. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I can see why you like this series. There's a lot going on already. Has this like, when did this game hook you? Like, have we reached um, that point yet? Or I think the game hooks me um, with Morgan. To be honest, like I like her character, like I like her writing, I like all of that. I just don't like her as a person, yeah. right? Like it's it's one of those things where I'm always playing the nice guy. Morgan's not that nice. Um, yeah. I mean, she she calls me her sister at one point because I help her kill her mom. So like, you know, like I I still like Morgan as a character. I just don't like her as a person. Mm -hmm. So um, when she first shows up. I was like, oh, okay, this game's kind of got some stuff. And um, when you play the Human Noble Origin, you get a dog. Which is cool. Which is like, I have a dog. <laughs> um, and I forgot right. that I get a dog super early on. It's well, been a while since I played. Thank you, oh, everybody, whoops. for... Never mind. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> whoops. I'm sorry. Here, you do the outro while I fight these guys. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for watching. <laughs> Uh, as Tamara murders these people, which you'll probably have to murder again because of the save point. But uh, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you are, thank you so much for watching. I have to talk so loud over the t <laughs> over the violence now that's happening on screen. The explosion of violence. Oh, good. It's quieted down now. Uh, but keep an eye on our channel. We got more reviews, let's plays. Uh, we continue with our playthrough of Dragon Age Origins next week. Yes. Uh, but in the meantime, stay safe and be who you are. Bye. Bye. Bye.